Hey, and welcome back to another video in my eBay parts repair playlist, the playlist of videos where I go on eBay and buy cheap electronic items for usually below $20. I used to, I used to actually follow a set of rules for this playlist for purchasing items, but now I don't because I found them quite restricting. And today we have a Lumia 920, and as you can see on screen here, um, it was pretty cheap, it was around 11 or $12 and it was listed as untested, but they also listed it as having a bad charging port, so bad USB port. So we'll see if we can fix it, but before that, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel, and if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also turn on your bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram and Discord where I post teasers and stuff that I usually don't post on my YouTube channel too. So you can find me on those using the links down in the description below. All right, let's uh, open this and see if we can fix this Lumia 920. So the Lumia 920, uh, just for some information, is the first ever phone on earth with optical image stabilization. So all the phones before it did not have the technology. Um, that was software stabilization, but this thing actually had optical stabilization. Um, and which made it a serious deal back in the day. I can't really remember when this thing was released. Is it 2013 or something? I can't remember. But the Lumia 920 was a high-end uh, Windows phone back in the day um, from the, the time of Nokia Windows phones. So this is not Microsoft. This is not Microsoft. This is Nokia. Um, I have bought from these people before. Pretty good uh, eBay sellers. Um, so we have the phone here. A micro USB, um, pretty similar looking to the Lumia 800. Um, I'm intending to do a video on a Lumia 800, uh, but that phone is not cooperating. That's pretty strange. This phone's made in Korea, not China. Okay, so sorry about the bad lighting too, because uh, if I turn the lighting off, it's gonna look pretty bad. Uh, it's because it's raining outside, and it's pretty gloomy. Uh, Maybe I should get like a white background to differentiate. There we go. There's a white background, so now you can see better. So let's see if this thing turns on. Uh, untested, so I'm assuming they didn't plug it in. So let's go ahead and plug it in and we'll see what we get. Let me just go uh, plug in a charger uh, real quick. So this is not USB-C, it's uh, USB micro USB. Uh, let me, let's look at this camera. What I think is, I, as I remember, it was a 12 megapixel or a 16, I'm not sure. But that's the first ever camera with optical image stabilization. The highest end of the mobile phone spectrum of cameras back in the day, back when this was released. Um, even iPhones didn't have optical image stabilization at the time. I'm really wondering which year it was. Um, probably 2013, I'm not really sure. Um, so we plugged it in. Let's we'll see what we get anything. Um, if Since it's untested, if it works, I might throw this video in a different playlist instead of the repair playlist, but let's see. So we're not getting anything so far. I'm holding down the power button. It may be just completely flat on battery. I think we. I felt a bit of vibration. Um, let's try that again. So, oh, okay, the screen came on for a bit there. Um, we might actually have the white screen problem. Um, you know what, I'll just give this a bit of charge, maybe like 15 minutes of charge and be right back. So, as, I, as you can see, it came up with the low battery um, warning. Sometimes the screen go, grow, like turns white so maybe there's something a bit wrong with the phone as well, but I get from not, what I can say now is that the battery is low. So we'll let it charge. And what they meant by um, damaged USB port, that's somewhat true. I had to wiggle this thing around to get it to charge properly. So we might have to take it apart and fix its USB port as well. So I'll just give it some charge and be right back. So the thing started to boot, so I guess the phone works, but we just still, we also have to check on that USB port. Um, let's see what we have here. Um, 
Welcome to Nokia Lumia 900. I'm scared to move this thing because in case the uh, thing stops charging again, let me just mount my phone onto its charge, its uh, mount here. Let me just mount it there. We'll see. Um, okay, the charger is still charging. Let's bring this. Uh, wait, I want to bring the charging uh, brick a bit closer. Um, hold up. Okay, it's still charging. Let's get started. Hopefully this thing is not uh, locked um, onto Windows protection thing. English, Simera close, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Windows phone recommended. Hold up, let me just, uh, let me just put some settings off camera and be right back. Okay, so I did some setting up and stuff, but I, the, while I was setting stuff up, I noticed something. This thing was running Windows 7, um, Windows 7.8, and I thought the, the Lumia 920 never ran Windows 7.8. So I was wondering, that's, that's, that's a bit fishy. So what it turns out is um, this is not a Lumia 920 like I thought it was. It's a Lumia 900, um, which, it, which is not as valuable as a 920. The funny part is the 900 has an AMOLED display and the 920 doesn't. Um, I have a Lumia 800 with me as well, which is uh, not working. Here's its case. Uh, it's not working properly, but I'm trying to get it onto a video as soon as I can. So that, and the funny part is I bought that from the same seller. That's the funny part. Um, and this, the Lumia 900, um, it has a better display than the 920 because the 920, for some reason, they decided to put an LCD. They kind of downgraded it, but whatever. Um, and fun fact, Nokia did AMOLED displays way before Samsung. Um, just a fun fact. Um, so um, we have a Lumia 900 here, which seems to be working fine. It's low on battery. Its battery is not in excellent condition. Um, see, battery clinic. The moment I take it off the charge, it does that. So the battery is not taking charge properly. Um, so we'll have to see what I do with this phone. It works perfectly, as you can see here. Uh, it's running Windows Phone 7. Um, I do have many Windows Phone 7 phones. I have a, uh, a Win that what's that LG Optimus 7, one of the first um, Windows phones, one of the first five Windows phones ever released. I have a Lumia 9 800. So I have a lot of Windows 7 phones. Um, I don't really need this phone, but I mean, it's okay. It could just be a part of my collection, but I really wanted a Lumia 920. Um, and what I remember now is that the 920 had a bigger chin than this. This has a smaller chin, because obviously it had an LCD. Um, the bigger chin accommodated for um, all the extra light, the, the LED lighting and all that stuff. AMOLEDs usually, the, the circuitry for an AMOLED display is behind the screen itself. Um, it had a bigger chin, the 920 had a bigger chin. Um, but it works um, as a 900, so. Uh, let's have a quick go around of the phone. We got Carl's Eyes camera. It's got a pretty good camera as well. It's an eight megapixel dual LED flash. Um, got a headphone jack, microphone, SIM card slot, um, speaker at the bottom. Um, metal, we got a camera. Let's turn on the camera. Let's see if we get anything. We got a dedicated camera switch. Let's see, blah, 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 blah. Love, <clears throat> let's see if the camera works. And yep, it does work. Um, takes okay looking photographs, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I've already messaged the seller and uh, we'll see what happens. If not, I'll agree, probably agree on a partial refund. If not, I might send it back, um, but I, I don't want to go through the hassle of sending it back. So we might agree on a partial, partial refund. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.